You came to pick for moments like this. They're in Pittsburgh right now. And all we do is fight. To play in games like this. In front of a crowd like this. But it's going to take everybody. We're going to fight together. We're going to play together. Trust your train. Concentrated confidence for 40 minutes together. We walk out of here with a win. This is our moment. This is our time. Play together. Play hard. Play smart. Let's go have some fun. Hello and welcome to Pit Beyond the Script alongside Pitt assistant basketball coach Jason Capel. I'm Rob King of AT&T Sportsnet. And uh, coach, we've been talking to your brother off and on over the course of the year. This is our first opportunity to talk to you. And before we talk about this team, I, I want to know, first of all, what it was like growing up. I know that uh, Jeff's five years older than you, I believe, yeah. is the number. Um, and then he winds up going to Duke. Yeah. You wind up going to North Carolina. Why not Duke? How did that how did that turn out? Uh, I was just wanting to blaze my own path. You know, being a younger brother has a lot of advantages. Uh, I was blessed to be able to be around him a lot, learn from him, learn from the coaches and teammates that he had. But for me, I wanted to be my own person. I wanted to go somewhere where, you know, I could be me and not follow in his footsteps. Uh, we were both recruited by two great universities. He enjoyed his time at Duke. But for me, I grew up a North Carolina fan. It was always my dream to play for the Tar Heels and specifically to play for Coach Smith. I signed with Coach Smith, he retired, uh, but I was able to play for Coach Bill Guthridge and uh, it was a great experience for me. Now, growing up five years younger than Jeff, uh, were you, did, was he a mentor to you? Were you sort of rival, brother rivalry? Or which way did that go? Well, no rivalry. Um, you know, I was, I was obviously five years younger uh, and I was a little brother. I was always pretty big. So I was allowed <laughs> to hang with he and his friends and. Uh, they treated me as an equal. Uh, they never treated me as like some little kid brother following them around. They allowed me to learn. They allowed me to experience and share the things that they were doing. And that helped me become a better player, a better person, and it helped me to grow up faster, which prepared me for things that life uh, was going to bring my way. You talked about Duke and North Carolina, two great programs, clearly not just in the ACC, but nationally as well. You guys now come to a pit program that had great success in the Big East, hasn't found the same level of success in the ACC. Exciting to you that you could maybe blaze a new path here that maybe a few years from now Pitt can be talked about in the same way, maybe not with the same history, but in the same way currently as a Duke and a North Carolina. Well, it will. And that's our job is to come here and, uh, you know, rebuild it. And, and that's exciting. When you look at, uh, when you walk into Peterson Event Center, you see the banners, they speak for themselves. There's a rich tradition here of basketball excellence, and it's our job to recruit good players, help them get better, uh, continue to add to the legacy here, but also take it uh, to a higher level. That's something that gets your juices going when you wake up in the morning. Uh, we understand the job that's ahead, and we're committed to doing it, bringing back the great pride to pit basketball. You've been an assistant, you've been a head coach, you've worked in the media as well. What is it like now back being an assistant head coach and what are the differences between being an assistant head coach? Maybe some of the advantages between being an assistant and being a head coach. Well, I was only an assistant coach prior for one year. So to me, you know, when, when, when you coach, uh, your job is to help young men, to build young men, to help them grow. Your job is to help them in everyday life become the people uh, that they're ultimately going to become. You have to win basketball games in that time. You have to recruit the right players. But your job is to help them continue to grow using basketball as a vehicle to do that. And uh, that's something we take great pride in and it's a privilege to be able to do that. Our job here is to, again, rebuild this program, build it to where we know it's going to be. And that's one step at a time. You can't take shortcuts, but it's something we're all very committed to doing. You got a couple wins early, which is more than they did last year. Last week, I want to look back at that. Did you talk about NC State, Wake Forest, two games that came down to the wire. You had chances to win. You didn't. Do you look at those as teaching opportunities and growing opportunities for your young men? Well, it's a young team. So every day, every practice, uh, every possession is a growing opportunity. Basics for 40 minutes, we win this basketball game. Work together, confident together. Look, it's not fun. You know, growing pains aren't fun. And there are no more victories. But we understand we're getting better. We understand that these young men are putting forth the effort. That's what you have to have, number one, is the effort, the, the passion to do something great. Those things are there. We have to continue to work. We have to continue to try to shore up those little things that can separate you from getting to the winner's circle. We're close. We're very close. But it doesn't show up in the winning category unless you, you know, have more points at that final buzzer. It's something we're committed to continuing to work at every single day. And we know that, again, we're close, but we have to continue to work to get better. One final question I had for you. I asked this of Jeff last week, 
that you're, I believe, the only staff in the country where all the assistant coaches have been head coaches. Does that help you communicate better? Is there an understanding of what the head coach is going through? Do you understand what you would want from an assistant and maybe behave in a way that a head coach would want an assistant coach to be? Well, the biggest thing for me as an assistant coach and having guys that have been head coaches, you understand, you know, you slide over one seat, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. And I think all of us understand that. We understand what goes with that. And our job is to ensure that we're doing everything in our power to help this program grow and to help our leader be the best he can be. A lot of times that's taking things off his desk. A lot of times that's doing things so he can solely focus on the betterment of this team and, and preparation and, and, and helping us game plan for our next opponent or prepare to get better every day. And I think because we've sat in that seat, the three of us understand that and we're better prepared to help him lead this basketball team. Well, Jason, thanks very much. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your coming on. Thanks for having me. All right, stick around. We're going to be talking with head baseball coach Mike Bell when we resume on Pit Beyond the Script.